Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 87 of Last FIFA 14 and uh, we sold on pretty much all the players we picked up uh, in the packs of yesterday's episode. We got most of the coins in from Kalini and uh, Dani Alves and then a few extra coins in of course and I also decided to sell on the 4 2 3 one squad because it didn't really play as well as I wanted to. I think I won two games and lost two with it and I just didn't feel confident playing with that squad and then I went on to build a new team and I didn't really know what I wanted to build until I saw a squad on Foothead uh, by a guy called Adam Hoylon and uh, it was actually really interesting because usually I do not create squads built on Foothead uh, but this one looked really nice because it had a bunch of skillers in, it had the transferred El Kabir which I didn't know had transferred to the Saudi Arabian League so it's an interesting link uh, him and Jobson could have together on the top and I really wanted to give that a go so uh, in the end I decided actually to try and build that squad and it took me forever to build it because the EA servers were really acting up at this point in time because whenever I tried to search for a player I got backed out of ultimate team had to search again I got backed out again and yeah it took like 50 minutes to pick up seven eight players and complete the squad very frustrating trying to build the squad but eventually I will pick up all the players I got a Willems and El Kabir on some cheaps uh, on, on some cheap uh, open bits uh, a few thousand coins cheaper than they actually went for so I'll probably make a little bit of profit on them and in the end I would finally finish off the squad with a position modifier for Elton who we, we who we played on a wide center mid spot uh, a while back when we had him into a squad so uh, that will pretty much finish off the squad in goal we do have Aranya and uh, his stats looks all right for silver keeper but then they're not really that outstanding to be honest but uh, we will give him a go and see how he plays uh, so yeah, he's our goalkeeper. Then we do have Rekic uh, on the first centre-back spot. Fast, good defending, heading stats. He's quite strong, not that tall, but I still think he's a quite good uh, player to give a go. Then we've got Rafael Toloi, and he's not that good of a silver centre-back. Well, he got some good stats, but he's not that tall, not that strong, not the fastest. But he's mainly there for the strong link to Wellington on the center deficit mid spot. Then we got Sinio on the right back with the four star skills. Very fun player to use. And the same thing applies for Willem's four star skills and him as well. So we can pull off some stuff with our full backs. Then we got a Wellington on the center deficit mid. Another four star skiller. He's fast, got good work weight, some good defending on him as well. And he looks to be a good player to use, in my opinion, on that spot. Used him there before and he played very well. Then we do have Kelvin on the right mid. Uh, he got full chemistry on nine chemistry despite being a right wing and we all know him by now good player fun and fun player to play with to pay on the left made a good a pace good dribbling four star skills and got a pretty good shot on him then elton on the center attack mid he's a bit like bernard a player i'm not too fond of using because he's very small not very strong but he's fast got good dribbling decent passing and he actually surprised me quite a bit when i played with him played way better than i had expected him to el kabir the transfer version up on the top a very good player when i used him in the mutumba squad a while back he scored a bunch of goals and I really did like to play with him. So I wanted to give him a go now that he had the transfer card. I'll link him up with Jobson. It could be a very interesting attack to use. So that is pretty much the team. And we are heading on into the Silver Class Tournament to see if we can pick up a win with this squad and see how it plays. We've got a bunch of skillful players in on the on the fullbacks, on the center of the mid spot and a few 5-star skillers as well. It could be a fun team to play with and we get matched up against a 3-5-2 French team and I get the worst possible style. We played 5 minutes and I trip his uh, attacker in the box. He picks up a penalty, unfortunately, and he will shoot it down the middle to make it 1-0. So a terrible start to the game. But we played a few more minutes and I'll play it on through to Kelvin, but to him with a lovely save there, denying me the go. We get another chance to pay, trying to cut in uh, on the right foot, but not a good enough shot. And he will save another chance. Elton on the ball, past a few defenders, but he is weak and he gets tackled there, loses possession. But we pick it up a corner, we hit the bar there, but we could not get the goal. And instead, he will hit me on a counter-attack from another corner. 
and I'm never gonna catch this striker, and it is 2-0. He had two shots, two goals, and that was pretty much all at half time. He had the early penalty and the late goal uh, in the 45th minute, and I couldn't get a goal, unfortunately. But we're going to the second half. He tried to go with a few skimmers from the kickoff. I picked the ball up, passed the slight tackle there with a little touch and a roulette. We find Elton, and we'll get the goal to make it to and bring me back into the game. But then seven minutes later, his third shot on target in the game. And he's up 3-1. Very frustrating. I could read the run, but I couldn't clear it away with my defender. And he could get the goal. My keeper was not saving anything in this match. However, we get a bad goal back. I just had to get a goal in this match because I just literally couldn't score. And I made a 3-2. And a few minutes later, Elton again on the ball. A few skill moves. He's able to hang on to the ball. He completes his hat trick. He makes it 3-3. And we continue on the pressure for the fourth goal. We hit the crossbar there and no goal at full time. He had four shots, three on target. He had three goals. I had 11 and eight, only three goals for me. I, I just couldn't get the goals. Here we tried another shot just wide off the post. We get on the ball with Depay as well, trying to skill our way past his defenders. But credit to him, he did a very good job defending my skill moves in this match. And it was tough to score any skill goals. We got sort of a skill goal with Elson, but in the end, we are into the penalty shootout, and he went down the middle once again, just as he did in regular time, and that gave me an idea he would probably shoot there again. Uh, but I decided to step a little too bit to the side, and I was able to catch his shot, and uh, I went into the lead. Elsa, he would convert as well to put the pressure back on him, and I decided to keep on standing in the middle, and I pick out his second shot there, and we, we can win it all with the pay. And we do so indeed. So we win the penalty shootout, which I think was fair enough based on the chances in the game. Because I felt the defense was pretty good, apart from the few times he broke on through. And my keeper didn't save anything whenever he had a shot in, unfortunately. But we won on the penalty shootout. And then the servers would start to act up again. As I said, it took a long time for me to build the team because the servers were acting up. And after the game, I got kicked off uh, foot, basically. And that meant I got a loss. And I didn't advance in the tournament, and my do not finish modifier got even worse. So that was not exactly what I wanted. It was a bit of a shame. And I tried to play another game because I want to throw another game into this episode. But I tried for like an hour to see if I can play a game. And whenever I went into the tournament, it just said there's problem with the tournament on Ultimate Team. You, you cannot play. So we're going to end it off here. And I would say the game did count as a win despite the servers acting up because we did win it in the end. So sitting on three wins at this point in time. And that is going to be where we end off the episode. We'll be back again tomorrow most likely. And we'll play a little bit more with the Silver Squad. And most likely also the Ibrahimovic and Ronaldo team. And that is pretty much all. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later.